We're still in fall camp. We are. We won't go to game prep until into the weekend, quite honestly. We still have some things that we want to work out, that we need to work out, and we feel it's it's still too early to go full bore into what we're going to see on game day. Now, mind you, there's a lot of carryover to what we do on both sides of the ball to what we're going to be seeing. And if you're ruled up and if you are sound in how you teach it conceptually, um, we feel just very strongly about pre preparing like that. So You've talked about even with the new NCAA redshirt rules that yes. you still want your freshmen to, to earn, oh, that, earn that playing time. Or how far along oh, yeah. are you kind of in the process of evaluating? Selecting who's going to play? Yeah. You know, we'll have a pretty good idea by Friday. We'll have a pretty good idea by Friday who deserves to play. Uh, but at the same time, this, this redshirt rule affords the opportunity to make this a true developmental squad. And I think that should be a tremendous incentive for everybody, freshmen across the country. This is no longer, hey, you're going to scout team and I know what that's like now. All right. Put yourself in my shoes, 230 pounds at Miami. Hey, you're a scout team guard and you got to block Cortez Kennedy and Russell Maryland and those types, right? A lot of fun. Right? I used to be 6'7 and they, they shrunk me down by boom, knocking me back. So now it's different with this kind of um, scenario now with this type of uh, these new rules that are in play. These guys have every day as an opportunity to prove themselves and gain ground towards being a player and a contributor on this football team. So uh, it's a win-win situation for everybody. Your depth chart? Um, yeah, I think it's been building. I think it's been in process for a while. I think there's several guys on the threes that are pushing for time, and I think that's great. And I also think there's several positions that you, you just can't close out right now. There's several positions where you see this, man, this is a co-starter situation where some guys got to prove just a little bit more than the other to take the first snap of the game. I think several guys have proven the fact that they can play and that they will play, but we still have some positions that require a little bit more to determine who starts and takes play.